Joining us now to talk more about the report is chairman of the Republican Party of San Diego County, Tony Cravar. Good, Good morning. Good morning. All right, so four pages of summary. Do you want to give us a bottom line, an overview of those four pages, what the summary said? Well, the bottom line is we spent about two years on uh, this investigation. It sucked up the air and the, the, the attention of the Americans for two years. Uh, over 19 uh, attorneys, $25 million spent. Uh, and uh, to, to find out what President Trump said all along. There was no collusion. This thing was, was, uh, ended up being uh, invented from the beginning as, as a research project by the Hillary Clinton campaign and somehow became something that, that uh, took up the attention of this, this country for almost two years. There was no collusion, and uh, let's face it, the, the Russians are bad actors. There's no doubt about it. They meddle in all kinds of elections. We've seen that all over the world, uh, but uh, to, to take that and create some some excuse that this is why Hillary Clinton lost uh, it was ridiculous. I'm glad it's been discredited, and the Democrats at this point move the goalposts um, at their own peril. It seems certainly that there was there was this focus that they were going to find, which they did find in the report, that there was indeed hacking of Hillary Clinton's emails at, by the Russians, and that the Russians were trying to give that information to the Trump campaign. But in the report, it says very clearly the Trump campaign did not accept any of that information, did not want to get involved. So now it seems like it's gone from the collusion aspect to now oh, well, there may or may not be any kind of obstruction of justice situation with uh, the president. Weigh in on how you feel that the attention of the report has now been changed. Well, the Democrats do that at their own peril. Most fair-minded San Diegans probably did not think that their president was a Russian agent. It seems kind of absurd on its face, but nonetheless, yeah. uh, they went along with the, uh, with the report. We've now spent two years. It's been determined that that is not the case. We have important issues to discuss in this country. We have challenges in this country. And the people want to move on and discuss those things. So Democrats double down on this at their own peril. And I would, I would t ask any San Diegan that's listening to this and saying, no, 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 we need to now change the move, the goalpost, and change the standard. Would you like to be judged in a legal system uh, under the same new standard where you have all kinds of circumstantial things and then people string that together to come and get you? So I don't think uh, the average San Diegan would like to be subjected or live under that kind of a standard. So we've had the debate. We've had the, the investigation. Now, what, what is interesting is who actually, how did this come about? Remember, this started as a research project by Hillary Clinton uh, and then somehow was used by the DOJ and the FBI to get FISA warrants and spy on American citizens on a rival political campaign. And then it was, was uh, uh, weaponized by a lot of people in the national media to create something that we've now spent two years discussing, which was never an issue in the first place. Yes, the Russians are bad actors. The Chinese are bad actors. And guess what? Probably some of our allies are bad actors, too. This is what countries do. They, they get in un, under each other's skin, and they do intelligence work. And the Russians, they just want to sow discord. That's what they've done for decades. That's what they specialize in. But to take that and, and, and create a narrative that our president is, is a foreign agent is absolutely absurd. Luckily, he's been stayed focused on, on uh, delivering for the American people. The economy is doing better than, 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 than ever before. Uh, and, uh, but there are some people that who need to be held to account for putting this country through two years' worth of a travesty. And as we've been talking about, we know the Democrats believe this is not the end of the story. They actually want the report, the full report, to be re released, which we don't know when that is exactly is going to happen. You're more of the, you know what, the Republicans, we want this to be end of story and move on. You're, so you don't want the full report to be released? Yeah, I mean, your sure. thoughts about yeah, that? No. Who cares? Put it out there. I'm sure there's some national security things in, uh, in there, here and there. But yeah, why not? Pre uh, Attorney General Barr has said so. President Trump has said uh, he doesn't mind. Um, let, let's get it out there. I'd like to find out, as a matter of fact. I hope that it has in there who signed off on those uh, FISA warrants. I hope it has in there how did this become a, you know, a research project completely debunked into something that the DOJ and the FBI used in the, at the highest levels to create a pretext for spying on American citizens, and now this whole thing has been discredited. So let, let's have it all out. Whatever, uh, whatever's in there, let's, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy to have it out. I think every American agrees with that. Well, now there's some discussion to investigate the investigators, because as you just said, this started with a dirty dossier 
from Steele that, as they turn, turns out, didn't have any factual evidence in it. So uh, do you support investigating the investigators in this situation? Absolutely, because if this, if this is the new standard, you can take something that's slanderous and false and create something that then occupies the, the attention of the American people for two years. And where does President Trump go to get his reputation back? This has been a narrative three years ago. This was nothing. And all of a sudden, this came out of uh, this absurd accusation. And, 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 and this is going to, I think, this, looking back from our you know, kids and grandkids, we'll look at this as, as a sad chapter. So we have to make sure that this doesn't happen uh, to a future president. It has to be some, the FBI and the DOJ have to be nonpartisan. And uh, unfortunately, they were, they were weaponized on, under President Obama. So let's yeah, make sure. It doesn't happen the again. The fallout from 22 months has uh, certainly been interesting to see the, the people that actually were taken down and it wasn't the focus of the investigation. So I think that's been very revealing. But what about just the general public? Well, I think, uh, you know, the general public, and let me ask you what your take is on this, because, you know, Mueller's report, at least in part, stated that uh, it did not exonerate him, yet the president saying the exact opposite. So many folks may be waking up this morning going, well, who do you believe? Uh, well, um, the president was exonerated. There, there was no Russia collusion. If people are talking about obstruction of justice, you can't obstruct. The president said all along there was no, there was no uh, collusion. So the obstruction of justice is about whether he was allowed to fire James Comey. He was allowed to fire James Comey. James Comey was one of the culprits who, who weaponized this, uh, this charge in the first place. And ultimately, what I would suggest is, we want secure elections. The only way to find out, to make sure that we don't have elections that can be manipulated in any way is to impl implement two reforms. Number one, to have in-person paper ballot voting like Sweden mm. and have voter ID like Mexico. Yeah. All right. Voter Very ID. key points there. Well, I think uh, the discussion is nowhere near over yet. So yeah. uh, days coming up, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see as far as what's redacted and what people want to interpret. So um, no doubt we're going to want to have you back so we can talk more about this. Absolutely. All right. Thank